Traveling Route 66. Hi guys, I'm Ryan. And I'm Dad. And we went to a bunch of places actually. A bunch of places, yeah. We so we this... went to the Jack Ragged. Jackrabbit Trading Post, <laughs> uh, the Petrified Forest, um, the Standing on the Corner of Winslow, Arizona. Winslow, Arizona. <laughs> Remember? It, and then yeah, we so we had a, a big uh, adventure this day, and and where we went was we went from Albuquerque, New Mexico, all the way to Flagstaff, Arizona. We're sharing all of our stops along the way with all of you, sharing some of our favorite moments from that part of our trip. Yep, so make sure to enjoy. Stop at Grants, uh, New Mexico, and there's a really cool caboose here. I guess you can climb up part of it, but it looks like it's all closed off. But they also have the Uranium Miners Museum over here, and a mining museum that has an underground section, but I think they're closed. Uh, if you're looking to stretch your legs a little bit, find some nice grass, we have Snoopy with us, so he's enjoying stretching his legs real quick. And so, uh, not a bad stop for somewhere just to hang out on if you need a leg stretch here in New Mexico. So we're about an hour, a little over an hour from Albuquerque at this point. It's currently closed. It looks like it would be a really cool place to come and check out sometime. There are some other uh, things to see around here as well, uh, including a giant drill bit. Look at the size of that drill bit to go into mines. Wow. Wow, look at the size of these. It's my hand. Oh, that's pretty cool. Cibola County Museum on this side with a bunch of old mining equipment. Zuni Mountains Mining, 1915 to 1970. Copper, fluorospar, pretty cool. Here's a road grader. <laughs> so they grade the roads for people to go up and down. Here's a case portable steam engine from 1915 through there. Wow. That's pretty neat. Fueled with wood and coal. Huh. Look at this old engine. It stops here in Grants is actually this sign you can drive through. And at night it's neon, which would be really cool to check out and drive through. Where of course here in the morning we're not able to drive through with the neon lights, but it has this nice little Route 66 come through. Grants, New Mexico sign. I'm going the other way, I'm walking through it. Here we go, walking through the Route 66 sign. So that's a lot of fun. Here in Grants, New Mexico, not only do they have the drive through sign and the mining museum, but it looks like they have this nice little fire and ice park, which has some artwork based on indigenous people's basket weaving, which is pretty neat. There's some other ones down there. All right, so on the road again. Arizona, the Grand Canyon State. Petrified Forest National Park. Inside the visitor center, we have a bunch of really nice pieces of petrified wood. See. Taking a look at the Painted Desert at Petrified Forest National Park. And look at all that. So they call that texture variegated in geology. Really pretty. And I believe this is the Chin Lee formation as far as geology goes as well, which is what hosts a lot of the petrified wood. And it's Triassic in age, so it'd be early, super windy out here. But there's actually petrified logs down there on top of the Chin Lee or within the Chin Lee formation. I don't know if I'm exactly, so just beyond this white hill, there's a couple of petrified logs that have eroded out. They're there from old trees that were here during the time of the dinosaurs. That is the early time of the dinosaurs in age. Pretty cool. Got a view of the Painted Desert. Ray, what do you think of the Painted Desert? Pretty. <laughs> is that it? Just one word, pretty? Yeah. <laughs> it is very pretty. <laughs> pretty Within awesome. Petri 
Unified Forest National Park, they have this memorial to Route 66, <laughs> which is pretty cool. So I used to run right through here. It used to be Route 66. Check out this old car over here. Look at this thing. Old school car. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Can't imagine driving in these cars in the heat here today. It's 88 right now here at Petrified Forest National Park. The good part is that there's no humidity, which after being in Houston for so long, feels wonderful. All right, check this out. So this is an agate bridge, and you can see the old fossilized tree here in Petrified Forest National Park. And they've actually braced it with concrete underneath it because due to erosion, as water comes down this little stream down here, it washed this this piece of tree out. There's actually a little bit more of tree over here, which created a natural bridge coming across here. That's pretty awesome to see. So we got out Petrified Forest National Park, and now we're in Holbrook, Arizona, but you can still see petrified wood is everywhere, including a, a cowboy riding a petrified tree. This is pretty unique <laughs> and unusual. Look at this cowboy riding a piece of petrified wood here in Hallbrook. That's hilarious. Right, so the main reason we wanted to stop in Hallbrook, uh, Arizona, was to take a look at the Wigwam Motel, which is a, a classic motel. And it's one in which uh, many of you will probably recognize the architecture. If you think about Back to the Cars movie as a place that inspired that, the cozy cone um, that Sally ran. So this is the inspiration for that. And you can come here and rent these rooms and stay in them, which, and stay in them, which is really neat. There's Toe Mater, <laughs> it's grandpappy. So all these places along Route 66, of course, have, have, have fully bought into the whole idea of theming around the cars idea. All right, so here's what one of these wigwams looks like if you want to take a look. And they have these open right now and air, airing out. So I'm going to stick my head in here just so you all can see what one of the wigwams looks like. Really cool. Look, there's a little bathroom back there, a single bed, a little old school table, air conditioning, a little TV. <laughs> really cool ambiance in here. So that's what one of these one of these rooms looks like. And they have all these old cars everywhere here. This is the Wigwam Hotel here in Hallbrook, Arizona. Uh, the inspiration uh, for things like the Cozy Cone and the Cars series. But also there's another one of these in San Bernardino, California uh, that you can uh, stay at. Uh, so I think there's two of them left because I understand it as I was reading about these different places. So a really neat place to come visit and being that I'm a geologist, I really love the idea that they've also incorporated a lot of the petrified forest. And I want you all to look at this thing. This is a tree. I think this is a single tree. And I want you to see how big this is. This must have been like a giant redwood tree. If you take a look at <laughs> how big it is compared to me and the, the span of this, I don't even think I can get my arms far enough out to do this. This is a gigantic, gigantic redwood tree. And I'm gonna put my camera down and see if you guys can get a little bit more of an idea of the size of this thing. It's gigantic. <laughs> Look, I found a little friend over here. We shall call him Fred. Hi, Fred. There's a little dinosaur hiding behind this bush <laughs> next, to, next to one of each of the, the rooms over here on either side. So, all right, oh, look at that old camper. Ah. Oh, that's pretty neat. And Ray is uh, crashed out. She got a little tired hiking and roaming around petrified forest. It is close to 90 degrees out here right now. And uh, it definitely zaps you. <laughs> and so she's crashed out in the back of the car as I'm walking around here, taking a look at this stuff. Here's going around the other side of the old wigwam hotel and look at the old i love old square back vehicles my goal someday is to get one and actually be able to restore one i think would be amazing oh so cool 
Look at this. Wow. I definitely feel like I've stepped back in time as I'm here. And it looks like they're actually closed right now. So that's going from the Wigwam Hotel. We're gonna go ahead and hit the road and go down and check out Williams, Arizona and also the Jackrabbit Trading Post. So here it is. This is one of the signs I've been wanting to see since we've left Houston, Texas. Um, so sites we see along Route 66 that they recreated in cars and this is one of them. They have a here it is and instead of of course a Jackrabbit, they have a car on the side. And so um, for those of you who are Cars fans, this is one of the things that influenced that picture within Radiator Springs. As far as an iconic uh, picture along Route 66, this is a place a lot of people come and get their picture in front of. All right, they have the old Jeep. So I see the old Jeep guy from Cars. <laughs> Look at this old Jackrabbit car, even with ears on it. And a little bit about the Jackrabbit Trading Post. It opened in 1949 where people can come here and stop and see the here it is sign, which we already took a look at. Um, and so they had the marketing campaign going up and down in both directions with this oversized jackrabbit. And what do they have here? A giant jackrabbit, Ray? Right, Ray in front of the jackrabbit. Although we have a train that just went by. So it's really hard to hear. Giant jackrabbit. Would you want a jackrabbit this big someday, Ray? Yes. Yes. <laughs> jackrabbit trading post, the one inside. Go ahead, Ray. You lead the way. Inside the Jackrabbit Trading Post. Awesome. What is this room, Ray? Is it a museum? I don't know. <laughs> it says there's like, it's like a Route 66 memorabilia in here. Oh. So they come in this back room and see all kinds of Route 66 stuff, including old signs. Oh, that's pretty cool. And I just love this rabbit. I don't know what it is about this rabbit. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and buy a Here It Is shirt because I'm so excited about being here. And it's been something I've been really looking forward to seeing. made it to Standing on the Corner Park in Winslow, Arizona, famous for the Eagle song. <laughs> and on the corner, here's the flatbed Ford. <laughs> and you can see there's lots of people hanging out taking pictures over here. Everything in this corner of Winslow, Arizona, which is this cute little town here on Route 66, is all <laughs> based around this idea of the Eagle song. So let's go over across the way and go take a look at this this famous park. Eagle up in the window, folks dancing, and members of the Eagles <laughs> and sculptures here. That's pretty awesome. Let's go see what this says. And what's neat is this is just a wall. There's a sculpture just as this park corner. And you come around the other side and there's actually a park on the back side with a little amphitheater. So pretty cool. Pretty cool stop. Ray, what do you think? I think it's cool. Is it cool? We still need to listen. I don't think you've ever heard this song, have you? No. Okay, we're going to have to listen to Take It Easy as soon as we get in the car since we're here in Winslow, Arizona. Probably should have done that before, but what are we listening to? We're listening to Harry, Harry Potter. Harry the Potter. One. Harry Potter book on tape the whole way here. So I thought that was really cool and a really fun day. Uh, the standing on the corner of Winslow, Arizona was super cool being actually able to do that and like be in the song. Um, the petrified forest was beautiful and um, the jackrabbit trading post was really cool and a really unique place um, and I just loved the overall like ambiance of it. It felt very like western all the time. Yeah, it was fun. We had a really good time uh, hitting all the different places along Route 66. We crammed a lot into one day. Um, my favorite thing of course is I got the jackrabbit shirt. I was so excited to get that. So. Um, with that being said, thank you all for joining us. And make sure to subscribe to our channel and like this video. And once you've subscribed, press the bell for notifications so you know when we upload a new video. And most of all, enjoy.